You've likely heard the saying, where there's livestock, there's dead stock. Losses are a challenge for all producers, but understanding why they occur is the first step on the road to prevention, especially when an animal dies unexpectedly or from an unknown reason. One of the best ways to do this is by having a post-mortem performed by a trained professional. You have three options when an adult sheep dies or needs to be euthanized for an unknown reason. Your veterinarian can do the postmortem on farm or at their clinic. They may even send samples to a lab for further testing, depending on the case. Or your veterinarian might tell you to bring the animal directly to the animal health lab for a postmortem. Your final option is to do nothing and the losses may continue. What's the value of a postmortem? Well, it's about understanding the cause of death so further losses in your flock can be prevented. Your veterinarian is an expert on animal diseases and is well positioned to make a diagnosis by performing a postmortem. Sometimes the cause is obvious, other times more testing is needed. The University of Guelph's Animal Health Lab, or AHL for short, employs veterinary pathologists and microbiologists who can perform specialized tests to better determine the cause of death. Is it a bacterial infection? Is it parasites? Too much copper in the feed? Fortunately, the government subsidizes the AHL to support farmers and make testing affordable. You and your veterinarian can use the findings to develop a plan to prevent future illness and death on your farm. So, what should you do when an unexpected or unexplained loss occurs? Start by calling your veterinarian. Keep the carcass cool, but never frozen. Storing it away from scavengers, that includes the farm dog. Postmortems should also be done on recently dead animals. Less than 24 hours is best. These are the keys to getting the best results possible. Remember, a postmortem isn't just opening up the animal to look inside. It requires a good history of that animal and the flock. A thorough history includes a description of the ration, clinical signs of disease, when the problem started, and any treatments and vaccinations used in your flock. Be prepared to provide this information to your veterinarian. If the postmortem will be done on farm, choose a place away from your livestock and somewhere you can easily clean. Your veterinarian will have the proper tools, but you'll need to safely dispose of the carcass afterwards. It's worth staying with the veterinarian to ask questions. They'll be pleased to show you what they find, and it's a great way to learn. After completing the postmortem, your veterinarian may have some ideas about the cause of death and make recommendations to prevent further issues. This may involve setting up a parasite control or vaccination program, or designing disease prevention protocols. Let's consider a few cases. Copper toxicity often presents as sudden death, and the carcass is frequently yellow. Liver and kidney samples are needed to confirm the diagnosis, but your veterinarian will also take feed, mineral, and water samples to find out where the excess copper may have come from. Haemonchus contortus, also known as the barber poleworm, can cause severe anemia and bottle jaw. In some cases, you may see animals on pasture die suddenly. Your veterinarian should review your parasite control program, including testing for resistance to the dewormer you are using. Some diseases cause no visible changes that can be seen by post-mortem examination. This is when specialized testing is needed. Take the case of a sheep with listeriosis caused by feeding poor quality silage. This and other diseases of the nervous system require that you send the head of the sheep to the AHL so brain tissues may be examined and tested. Sometimes an animal loses body condition and must be euthanized. There are several chronic infections that may cause this. For example, Yoni's disease and Mady Visna are common diseases in sheep in Canada. Diagnosing either disease means that there are many more infected animals in the flock. In both cases, there are no drugs or vaccines available to treat or prevent infections in other animals. Getting a diagnosis will allow you and your veterinarian to develop a plan to eliminate infected animals and lower the risk of spreading the infection to replacement stock. So how much is that dead sheep worth? You may think it's worth nothing. After all, it is dead. But the information it may provide could make it the most valuable animal in your flock.